Okay, in this example, uh, we're going to take the, the uh, formula for the volume of a pyramid, a square pyramid. Okay, so we first learned before that the volume of a pyramid is the area of the base times the height times one third. So, but in, if we know the area of the base is a, if we know the base is a square, then it just becomes this formula. So this is the formula we're going to derive today using integration. Okay, um, so I drew some diagrams and pictures. So again, bear with me with my um, drawings. But here's a three dimensional view. So I have the point here, and so I have the pyramid on its side because I want the slices to be perpendicular to the x-axis, okay? So the way I have it is it comes out here and the base is this piece right here. So it goes from the top, the point, all the way to the base. And so here's the length of one of the sides of the base, A. The height of the pyramid is H, okay? And so what I did was I have this cross section that's perpendicular to the x-axis. And the distance this slice is from the y-axis is x. As you can see, it goes from 0 to x. And so this slice is called s, and the side, or excuse me, the length of one of the sides is s for this slice. Okay? And so... Now, since the base is a square, then every cross-sectional cross-section done this way will also be a square. Okay? So now we just need to figure out what is the area of each one of those squares. Okay? So let's look at this cross-section here. So if we slice it right down through the length of it, we get this cross-section here, so we can look at it a flat end. So what do we see here? We see that this makes a triangle. In fact, it makes two similar triangles. So we have the triangle here and the larger triangle here. And so since they're similar triangles, we can make a proportion of the sides. So we know that this side is proportional to this length, so this side is proportional to this one, so we know S, I'm going to do it that way, yeah, we can do that way, so S over A is equal to X over H. And so that's how we get proportional sides, right? So all we're doing is using the fact that these are uh, similar triangles, okay? So now, once we have that, we can solve for x, or excuse me, s. Because this is what we're gonna be moving. Okay, so we wanna solve for x in terms of x. Right, because again, uh, we're going perpendicular to the x-axis, so everything needs to be in terms of x. So our side here, we want to represent that side, because again, we're calculating area of this thing. So we need to represent the side. So that means the side is going to equal ax over h. So now... The area then is what? Well, since it's a square, the area of the slice is going to equal S squared, right? Which is going to be that squared, AX over H squared. Okay, and so that's our area formula for our slice, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to integrate our area formula over the, over the interval from zero, from zero all the way to h, right? Because that's the interval 
that we're adding up all of these areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, the volume equals the integral from 0 to h of our area formula, a of x dx, which in this case is ax over h quantity squared dx. And now let's integrate. Okay, so first of all, a and h are constants, right? So we can pull those out. So let's distribute the power and then pull those out. So let's rewrite this as 0 to h, the integral from 0 to h. And we're going to pull the a squared over h squared out. And that's going to leave us x squared dx. Okay, and now we're going to integrate. So this becomes a squared over h squared, and this becomes one-third x cubed evaluated from 0 to h, right? And of course, at 0, this is going to be 0. This whole thing is going to be 0, so we can ignore that. So we can just do, it's going to end up being evaluated at h minus 0. So if we do that, it's going to be, at h, it's going to end up being a squared over h squared times one-third oops h cubed right and then what happens these two h's cancels with two of the h's here and what do we get we get one-third a squared h and we got the result so it works. Okay, see you next time.